F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews where friends request friends to watch Fargo season two, episode eight, titled Lop Lop. Lop lop. I don't know what the I don't know what the heck a lop lop is. I don't know if that's a a, a, a saying, maybe a, a saying. A, who knows? It could be an actual town out there. They got some interesting named towns out there uh, in the Minnesota area. So who knows? But most importantly, at least what's on the top of my mind is Ed and his wife, right, making that phone call about buddy in the trunk and then another thing that's top of mind is the family finding out about um dodd's daughter right and their reaction behind that and honestly is dodd even gonna make it to the point where he could find out what happened to his own daughter so i'm ready to get into this because i know episode eight nine and ten about to be crazy how you feeling over there bradley i'm feeling great man like you said everything you stated clearly true what is the reaction for the family going to be? Even if they ever going to find out, um, who knows if that's going to happen. And then, you know, like you said, is Dodd going to make it out of his situation? Because uh, we know how Ed and... Uh, damn, what's her name again? Peggy? Peggy, yeah, Peggy, eh? We all know how Ed and Peggy get down. So I'm just curious, man, how this all is going to end, tie in. We know the Red Man... You know what I'm saying? He's somewhere out there. Mm -hmm. Is he going to finish, accomplish his goal? So it's just really a matter of, like, who's going to accomplish their mission first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, <sighs> yeah. It's going to be a great one, man. Let's go. I'm ready. Hey, look. He ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready, so we ain't going to hold you any longer. We just going to dive right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Drop your like comment down below and most importantly subscribe the goal is 10k click the button click the bell get notified when we go live yes let's far go yes sir yeah they say are you easy uh, to draw uh, okay what's up with the music is this the moment oh right did we get to see it mm-hmm yep perfect okay Hey. Hey. And she just sitting there, bruh. She I, <laughs> she different. <laughs> what? Did she even tie him up? When like let me okay, think about it. Okay, damn. She went that far. Yeah, he's yeah, he's tied pretty. Not only that, she dragged them all the way over there. Have you actualized fully? Hello? What? Right? Have you actualized fully? I don't understand this. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying. Do you understand the difference between thinking and being? Is this you trying to tell yourself to I'm sorry, but how is sitting here going to help me be the best person I can be? Ah, you want an explanation? Hmm. Well, kind of. Hell yeah. Think or be. You can't do both. Hmm. Don't think about the person I want to be. Just being that person. Okay. We were just talking and well, <laughs> we were just talking. This lady has lost her mind, brother. Yep. <laughs> he was awake for all that. That's crazy. A concerned citizen just walking past, oh, and I and I yeah. hear a cry for help. No, you're a Gerhard. Mmm. Thought you could play me. And your shit on my shoe. <laughs> Come here, let me wipe you off. <laughs> mm, I like that. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Yo, Ed just shut him the fuck up. He said, shut the fuck up. Yep, take that gun. Can we take him with us? Take. 
That's smart though. She told him he's a leader. He said, let's take his ass then. That's crazy. He was awake through that shit. <laughs> it's and, hard and talk what's to. even more crazy is that the red man still hasn't got here yet because his ass wanna be Michael Myers. Watch him pull up as soon as he did. Facts, right? He gonna throw a rock at the car like, oh, I just missed him. <laughs> here he comes. He he really got his own little theme music. <laughs> If he just would have ran, <laughs> he would have been able to catch up. Okay, maybe not. I know, right? So the cops came. Did they? Oh, they turned around and came back. Oh, that now this makes sense. This actually makes sense. Got one. We got some strong knees. Look how low he crouched. <laughs> Yeah, you feel oh, me? Need a breather, like you feel me? He had to no sit down. He touching it. Like, That's the real reason he left. He like, I need to get back up. I mean, he did run straight to his radio, low key. Yeah. When he got back up, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> I'll get an APB out on the Gerhardt boys and uh, see about starting to hunt for Ed and Vicky. Well, you ain't. Don't, don't tell Betsy I'm down. <laughs> yeah, she scares me more than you, so. <laughs> I'm telling her anything. Everything. <laughs> she scares me more than you, player. I gotta sleep next to her. Like. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a close call. Redman could have just okay, red man about to be. Look, I was gonna say they zoom into the shadows and too much. Like. And fucking with the red sitting on them. Like, come on. Mm, you right. You right. I didn't even put the red part together. <laughs> red man. And you know how he about to do. He about to shoot. <laughs> you know, like, I start rolling back and shit. Like, I say them mula. Dodge shot one of our own. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's gonna find the the Sioux Falls. Look at him, oh Sniffy man, he scratch and sniff at it. Mm, the freaking hotel shit. That's arriving on March 22nd. Damn, why would you leave that up there? I, well, why the hell didn't the cops find that just now? They went straight to the basement and straight back outside. That's but, what that means. But they seen them bodies. They ain't worrying about anything else. But they need to be. They need to be. <laughs> so then, honey, we stick to the small roads. Out of the way motels, and we just we, we keep moving. A road trip. <laughs> oh my God, Peggy. She's a doer. See, we're moving now. Things are falling. <laughs> <laughs> I love Peggy. Yo, is yeah. Buddy in the back seat right now, telling her to not think? See it, then be it. Shit. That's from Life Spring. Shit, the cops. See it and be it. <laughs> Do it and can boot it. Life. Ed looking terrible. Hard. We both are. And she is just glowing, bro. <laughs> it's funny, son. <laughs> My man look like he has his sleep slept in like 72 hours. <laughs> and she looking like she's sleeping 72 hours a day. <laughs> oh, Hun. What? In case he gets feisty. Mm, yeah, look at her. Ready. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Got him. Shit. <laughs> Hit him again. There you yeah. go. Oh, we foaming. Look, spit a little bit. Good thinking. Huh? Man, I thought that fool was about to get impaled by a tree branch for a second. I was about to say, we gonna Dog, see the How are you in this situation? Two civilians. Come on. Nah, son. That's the butcher of Lelouf, bro. <laughs> You're dead in case you're wondering. In case you're wondering. You and your whore. Zip your lips. Damn, you and your whore. Yeah. But you know, uh, if we give them back to you, you gotta promise we'll go unmolested. <laughs> unmolested? Yeah. What a choice of words. But what if they say no? Well, then I'll show them which parts the flank seek. Mmm. Mm. That's the butcher. Which parts the flank steak? I'm the butcher man. I got Dodd. Did you tell him that? 
This is probably the moment where the dude was picking up the phone and yeah, it kept picking yeah. up and getting rejected. Yep. Still don't. How does he get Mike's number? Yeah, that's a yeah. Mm-hmm. I swear to Christ, when I'm free, you're gonna see the back of my hand. <laughs> Tie that man mouth shut. Tape his shit, I mean. We're gonna be spending some time together. So you need to be civil. Is she about to turn it up a notch? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> oh! Yo! <laughs> Beggy! What did I just see? Yo! She's Please gonna... tell me she's just imagining this right now. She's about to body this man. Good. No, I'm making beans. You want some beans? No. No what? No, thank you. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad, we were saying that she might be the the true degenerate of the <laughs> of the season, like. Positive Peggy is what they call me. But this whole thing has just been super hurt on Ed. He's a little more delicate, you know? She about to spoon feed He's... this man? Stepping out into the road. No. 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 Oh my and God. So, Ed, you know, I'll eat, eat them beanie weenies, man. And I mean, what were we supposed to do? For you know? <laughs> she is. This she's is a torture. She's a psychopath, right? We can just. Smooth there you go. Yep, just make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave up. Yo, he gave up. I feel like he for the bash that shit is spit in her face. No. Are you listening to me, Nat or not? <laughs> it's truly crazy, bro. Oh, hey, hon. Yeah. We're just. I made some beans. You want some? She. She got cranked up to eleven. <laughs> he like, yo, come on. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> oh, well, no. We don't need to talk about that, do we? <laughs> Water under the bridge. Yeah. Wow. My man's look like he actually concerned with, for his life. I and mean, when you get right down to it, it's our shop that burned down. Mm. Our house we had to leave behind. She's crazy. Keep her away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> Yo, this is different, son. <laughs> you gotta just stop stabbing this man, son. Please. I'm scared she gonna stab Ed if he keep acting too soft. Please. Oh man, let's. What did? Okay. Mm. That's fucked up. Damn. They just had to paint that picture for us. Look at Water. these guys. Are they about to try to pick a fight and get sliced up by the red man? I don't think they're going to pick a fight. I think he might pick a fight. Nah, he chilling. They looking at him ever since he walked in. Oh, see, look at that. Spitting oh. this shit. Picking fights. Tequila. Pour in front of me. Huh. No spit. Hold the spit. He's still gonna spit in his shit yep. right in front of him. Just to show him we don't care about your engines out here. Didn't you guys try to start your own country a while back? Mm. Wounded me? He ain't about to give up his own kind? I'm not sure I want to serve alcohol to a man who doesn't want to be an American. How about a man who did three tours in Vietnam has got a purple heart and a bronze star? Who? Damn. You know? I believe it the way he moves. You're welcome. Hmm. There they go. I hear that door. Where are you going, Geronimo? Huh? You gonna grab your bow and arrow there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's deep. The bow and arrow. Is he crying, Earl? I think he's crying. <laughs> huh? Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. Hold on. Exactly. Hmm. Shut the fuck up. Come out the door. You want to come see what's out here? I thought he was just going to make them piss their pants. That man pulled that shit out and shot immediately. 
Is he gonna go inside the bar and finish out the dude off? No, look. I call the cops. Mmm. Okay. He probably saying he on a suicide mission right now. Fuck it. And the buddy that was sleeping at the bar is still sleeping at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get up, he just shot the owner. Oh, just now. damn, they got here hella fast. Yo, you feel me? Response time crazy. Is he about to get into a shootout? Jeez. Yep. He for sure is. Damn. Yo, the Sioux Fall Massacre, bruh. Oh, shit. He bringing it back. <laughs> he reversed Damn. Uno reverse. You got to pee or you got to poop, I'm saying. Jeez, kid. I got, I'm going to blow a sack here. <laughs> You're going to have to help him with his pants. I'll do it. No. No. Mm. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, he said no. no, no. <laughs> she might snap my shit off. Uh, so I'm like, I'm gonna open your drawers. Okay, I can't hold it. <laughs> Come on. No, bro, me. you got your hands right there in the front. Let him do that. What the fuck? I'm, don't, I'm, I'm helping you out here. Don't yeah, look at I'm me. Out. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> no, These this fools is the are worst. Stupid. This is the worst. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Damn, this one of those. One of them better than SEX ones. Uh-oh. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to go make the call. You'll be okay? <laughs> Affirmative. Jeez. <laughs> Can you please not? Help me. You might want to send her to do the call. Help me. Maybe <laughs> was crying for help. Oh, hey, I, this never crossed my mind. Uh, he's going to find the, the Sioux Falls. Look at him. That never crossed my mind. You stupid. I completely forgot she was going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut the music. <laughs> How are you doing? You know, with a song in my heart. It's warm for March. March. Yeah, it has been. I guess. The hippies want you to believe the planet's heating up because of my wife's hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Going a little crazy down there, to be honest. I bet. How about a pack of cards? Just 39 cents. Yeah, sure. Okay. You know what? I'm the house. Hey, you know, look at that. Oh, thanks. Hey. Bro, that blood is yes. This thing ain't looking too good. Don't even look at her, bro. You bullet. You made eye contact. <laughs> who you calling? Oh, that was her boss. I was like, bro, I don't even know who that lady was. <laughs> For real? That's Hell why yeah, you didn't say anything. Yeah, I was just like, I don't know who that chick is. Bro. That's a chick that been pressing her. That been one of the sisters. Well, she was fresh out the shower, no Andrea makeup. She looked different. Hotel. It's in Sioux Falls. That's all I said. Here she goes. She calling. Blue oh, it. she's still alive. Hello. Oh gosh, did I wake you? No, I'm. Where are you, sweetie? You're missing the seminar. Don't say nothing. It's a long time. Three way call. I'm with it. How's it going? What? They gonna add the fourth one? I did have kind of a breakthrough. Like a, a vision, you know? A vision. Maybe I don't need it as much anymore. Well, mm. vision's important, but... Yeah, so I just wanted to call and say thanks. <laughs> Please come. I mean, where are you? Maybe we could meet for a drink. No, 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 no. Uh, better not. I mean, we're out in the woods here. Not that far, but like I said, we had some trouble. No. We're heading out. You're saying too much. Sounds romantic. He can smell it through the phone. Well, you feel me? Mm, oak out. tree. <laughs> I'll just. Where are you? Hang up. Come on, Ed. Get home. I don't know exactly where we are. I think southwest near Vermilion. Oh, the lake. I'll call you as soon as it's over, okay? I'll give you a call. Okay. Yeah, but. Okay, bye. Uh, she tried. Her best. She got some, I feel like yeah. she got South West Vermilion, whatever. Is that enough? 
I tried. You heard. Please. Yeah, but he on a rampage, though. Please. Damn. Do you know what that means? I did. Forehead to forehead, like... (laughs) Let us pray <laughs> as, I, as I send you to the astral plane. Like, it's a wrap. <laughs> Yo, no. Oh, no. Working on us. Yeah. Make stop. stop looking at us. Man, nah, y'all need to take shifts. You feel me? <laughs> mm, like that. Oh. Let's see. She watching some World War II shit. This war is bigger than us. No. And our love. No. <laughs> no. No. Smoke. Mmm. They gonna smoke your ass up. But we can't go out there. And if we stay here, we burn in our own little hell. What are you suggesting? They about to foreshadow the egg and, egg and That's, peg, Peggy ending. Like. I was just thinking that you die first, Ed. <laughs> he really waiting. He about to push her in front of that shit. Like. Gotcha, bitch. Mm. Oh, let's go. Take that, you Nazi rat. <laughs> you Nazi rat. Hey, it's this dude, Rick Doyle. Come on. I can't get you, let you get too close. My boy Rick out here. Don't tell me he's going. Slowly. Don't pan over and he's going. Wow. Oh my God. What happened? What happened? Oh my what God. What happened? What happened? No. No. And you know they about to no. end. It. Is she dead? He ain't taking no chances. You know he ain't. I can't believe she was that. That shit, that movie had me kind of zoned in too. <laughs> ain't gonna come back. She gonna just have beans coming out of her mouth. Like, it's in the paper. Oh, they Mike Milligan. Government in the paper and in the hotel he's in. Thank you so much for your help. Bye-bye. Wow. That's how he got it. That simple. Damn, what a turn of events, hey, though. I'm looking for uh, Mike Milligan. It's all about Peggy right now. Facts. It's all about what's going on with Peggy. Today's your lucky day, Mike. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. got Dad Gerhardt in the trunk of my car. You want him? I know they might be about to end the episode like this. Again. If they do, I'm... If I kiss you when we meet, would that be inappropriate? What? I don't... I'm... Well, it's been a day. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact is, I do. I do want to. Facts. Yeah, and no funny business either. You hear? Because I've killed people before. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to do it again. Mm. Maybe you heard of me, the Butcher of Laverne? I have heard of you. <laughs> and may I say... Brother, impressive. I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> he the meat mincer, baby. <laughs> you better stop playing with this man, brother. I like your style. Ready to go. And we're ready for the Is he suspicious yet? Well, not that I'm complaining. Red man. Yep. Just passing time. Get I felt it. Mm-hmm. I felt it, and then I smelled it. He didn't even stop at the gas station, so he, okay, I was about to say, he right on Ed's ass. Yep, and not only that, I feel sorry for this clerk. Yeah, he's, I was just going to say, he's been killing everybody. I'm not looking for a girl. I'm looking for a man. Heavy set. He parts his hair in the middle. Look, he's driving a blue Lincoln. Heavy set. Red-headed man. I like Red Man. He, he, he just straight to it. I think you should leave. Yeah. You know him. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, you might might want to change your answer, but look at the eyes. This fella comes in here two or three times, uses the phone outside. Redhead. Yeah. 
He, he wasn't agitated, uh, but that's what he said. We're going crazy down there at the lake. Uh, even bought a pack of cards. <laughs> Come on, let him live, man. Okay. And that's two clues about the lake, too, so you know it's real. There you go. Man, I thought he was about to come back in like dogma. Yeah, bro. You dodged him. Oh. Mm. Call the cops. Yep. Call the cops. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all coming <laughs> to the to this climax right here. It's all coming to this for me. Oh, shit. Grab a gun. Grab something. Hmm. Do you think they took the freaking gun? I don't know. Is Peggy okay? Is it? Hun? Oh, shit. That shit made me jump. What the hell? Hey, wow. Coming. Done. Get them toes up. Get them toes up. Wow. He's still leaning forward, though. How I know is they've been plaguing me my whole life. What's the joke? Can't live with them. Can't turn them into cat food. <laughs> it's the, the, the lack of rational thinking. Which brother of your bitches got that in spades? <laughs> Damn. Oh, she she's left alive. Her alive. And look at the knife is. You left her alive, you stupid. Giants made of muscle and steel. All that talk of muscle and steel and being a man, and you're about to get bodied by a woman. No matter what you do to them, these goddamn twats just won't stop till you put them down. Oh, yep. God. Bring it out. Oh, Ooh, she broke, broke it. it in his shit. You can still pull it out, shit. though. Oh, oh maybe God. not. Please get Ed. Oh, Ed, 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 Ed he has Ed, to Ed, lift Ed, his foot. Ed, 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 Ed. Oh, sh Bing. Oh, yep, nice. Get Ed, Ed. Yo, Save this him. is crazy. Save him. Aim, there you go. Oh, oh my CPR, God, CPR son. now. CPR. This man was looking like a Oompa Loompa. Nah, for the real. Girl when she ate, not the, the girl when the, she ate the blueberry. The blueberry gum, like. yeah. <laughs> nice. No, he's not. Finish him off. Not for real, right? Grab that freaking Fuck hatchet. it. Fuck, fuck, uh, Mike. That's Red Man. Oh, she shit. close. Damn. We got Red Man and the police coming. No boy. That's no. facts. We, yeah, we gotta get shit moving. My neck, something's, something's wrong. Oh. I bet something's wrong. Oh, shit. Mm, hello. Just walked in. Step away from him now. What if we say no? That dumb. Just shoot this. him, you half breeze. I'm hurt real bad here. She can't get in the haircut. He about to leave? Well, I mean, you got the bone structure. Jesus Christ. He's done. He's done with this shit. Mmm, yup. He's done with this shit. Can you do it? Bruh, <laughs> this is wicked. Haircut. Can you do it? Yo. We thank you. Shut up. We thank you. <laughs> we come in peace. We thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened? What's happening? Yo, this might have been the episode, bruh. He came down to Sioux Falls, got reminded of the massacre and how motherfuckers don't care about yeah, his people. How he, yep, how he's treated. Yeah, you're right. You know, if there's anything we could do to repay, yeah. Just don't. Oh, shh. Peggy. Yeah. Peggy. Uh, you know, she. She impulsive. Tired of this life. Oh, my God. This is <laughs> this is risky. This is this is so risky. You just said them scissors might be dull, bro. You can't, you can't. The police. Oh my oh, gosh. Shit. Oh my god. Yo, yo, yo. This is crazy. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yep. Ooh, them dull asses. Just <laughs> bounced off this. Oh, my. What happened? Yo. Yo. What happened? Oh, nigga. Oh, my God, son. Yo. Yo. That shit was intense, son. Yo. I. There you have it. Far Go. Season 2, Episode 8 in the books. Bruh. It's one of them episodes, man. It's one of them episodes where it ends so good that just then the rest is just completely wiped out. My memory. <laughs> I feel you on that. I yeah. feel you. What happened to the rest of the episode? I don't know because that end was like, too fucking crazy. Too crazy. I mean, because I mean, honestly, it wasn't much. Like, it, yeah, there was there was much, but it wasn't much because it was really just the walkthrough of what we missed from the last episode mm -hmm. that they didn't show us. Yeah. You know, so. So it wasn't like too, too crazy, but I really did enjoy it, though. It, it was really good to kind of see just everything, basically, because we were sitting there <laughs> truly confused. Like what happened after Redman went chasing after Ed? Yep. Like what happened to Peggy? And then out of nowhere, we get the call like, yeah, we got your boy in the trunk. Like, do you want him? So this was a really good episode to get us into the zone of what actually happened. Get us a little bit more into the zone of, of Peggy's crazy ass <laughs> and then like i said that banger of an ending here woo. Woo, woo woo my heart dropped a couple times i ain't gonna lie that last that last trigger pull whoo probably talk about what happened what happened i'm like what yeah did you really not see that i, I did he pulled the trigger or not he did. He did. It was oh, out of bullets, though. Oh. It was out of bullets. It was out of. Bullets. I thought he. I for for a second thing. I thought he just chose not to. And I'm just nah, like, he why? pulled it. That whole click, son. It I clicked, didn't hear bro. the click. Wow. I know we was loud. We I was well, I was definitely loud. So we was we was actually talking a lot through this episode. This episode didn't have that much dialogue though. So we tried to fill that in for y'all. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> how you feeling over there, Bradley? I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all can tell. <laughs> Like Formal said, he, he was smiling too damn much in this episode. Cheekbones started to hurt. Really? Right. Like, if I feel my hurt, I hurt a lot. Yeah, just get a little my shoulder real quick. Just, all right. Yeah, got brown cow, cow, brown cow. But, um, yeah, this episode was amazing, man. A lot of tense moments here. And, and then we have the, what we kind of predicted with Peggy, that she was going to be the true... Uh, Degenerate. Yeah, the one that kind of goes down the dark path. And she's really, she took that in. And um, she said, let me, she said, Jesus ain't going to take the wheel. I am. Yeah. yeah, and she drove that bit. So, yeah, what an episode. What an episode. <clears throat> um, Yeah, man, I don't even know <laughs> where to start. I guess we could just start at the beginning. Like, the, the part that we all wanted to see was what happened what was the aftermath of the basement yeah yeah so and i think that was that's all that's a good place to start anyways because that's also where we kind of seen the peggy tra the <laughs> transition kinda, happened kinda, yeah yeah it's slipping a bit here like she she's having these weird visions of i mean i guess her self-conscious i guess that's what she's always trying to tell herself anyways but she's hallucinating it and i guess that helps justify that mindset but <laughs> yeah I, it makes me really worried about her character though because i know we only got two episodes left and i know that it seems it seems like they're somewhat about to get a, a good little ending because the police come in like yeah mm. we're here but fargo don't play bro fargo b <laughs> it really does pull the uh, the blinds over your eyes man and they can really go any direction with this um, so I'm really just interested about her character. What what's gonna happen with her character? Is she gonna? Is there gonna be something else that triggers her to to show her ass the way she showed her ass in this episode? And y'all know exactly what scene I'm talking about. I mean, how you how you feeling about her? 
I mean, it, it it's it's tough to say about because, like you said, Fargo has that those moments where you think it's going one way and it's you know they pull the 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 rug from under you. But I don't know, man. I honestly believe that they can get out of this situation somehow. You know, um, once again. We get the feeling that they can get out of this situation, but knowing Fargo, that's most likely not gonna happen. And it could be because of her thought process. You know that whole conversation she was having in the basement with her, you know, her Melfi. Um, so <laughs> it, it, that could be the the moment. You feel me? That kind of changes everything. Where it goes from them possibly making it out, and then something occurs. On her end, and then you know, they're pretty much back into the shits. So I mean, I don't, I really don't know how they're gonna play it when it comes to to Ed and, and Peggy, because I feel like they have a potential way of getting out. Because first of all, they didn't kill Doc. Yeah, they did right. kidnap him, but right. we all know what happened in the basement. So you know, she was kind of pr- protecting herself, but the kidnapping kind of takes it a little bit further. So you know, how they're gonna handle that? But then. When they do get to the cabin, Red Man kills Dodd and ends up shooting at the cops. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a there's a way to slither out of this, but I don't. I really don't know. I don't know. I f- I feel like there's a way to slither out too, and that's why I feel like that's not gonna be the case. It, like yeah, the exactly. Because we felt the same way for Lester. Like you feel we me? felt the same yeah, way. Like oh, he gonna like... he gonna get out of this. Like he ends up do getting out of this. Um, we gonna get a random Ed scene, end scene of freaking Peggy getting tired of Ed's shit and just chopping his ass. Not up, even. Like, or the bring him to the around. frozen lake where Lester at. Motherfucker, dump him in there. You see, you see Lester bob up like. Mm. <laughs> well, shit, Lester's in the future, so. Oh yeah. Technically, technically. <laughs> but it's just crazy because like one thing, one thing I say is like because I remember when Sal- when Salverson pulled up on Mike. You know, like, and this was after bodies already started piling up a little bit. He's kind of like, you know, just just get out of our town. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just get out of here. Like, we don't mm-hmm. want to deal with it type shit. Like, yeah. So things like that make me feel like Ed and Peggy can get away with that one body. Because I'm not trying to say they're not interested in prosecuting anybody. But, like, at the end of this all, I'm pretty sure Ed and Peggy are the least of of any prosecutor's worries like like if any prosecutor want to try to jump up in here they they're going to be trying to target the gearhards or the kansas city mafia so i'm, I'm like yeah. that's why i'm like bro this is this ending well it's not an ending it's only episode eight but right now at this ending it seems like like some good things could potentially happen for ed and peg so uh <laughs> i don't think that's i don't think that's gonna be the case so i don't really think so either how they going. yeah i want i want to know how what else can Put possibly develop from this shit right here, or do we get like a random time jump? Remember how we got that with Lester? Like, but we got that what around episode six or seven? They probably would have had to give us that. Um, I think it was seven or eight. Yeah, it was close to the finale. Yeah, it was close to the finale. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the rest of that shit. Yeah, man, it's 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 gonna be crazy, man. And then on top of that, you know, we got the red man. He's still out there, so Mm -hmm. that's still a thing. And is it true? Is he just going to leave the life? Is he just going to go about his business and run? So is it, that's a, a potential character that they just, I feel like they could throw away or, you know, you know, they could, they could end it, but I don't know. I don't I really don't know how they're going to, how they're going to end this because I was not expecting that ending there with a red man going rogue yeah. at all. That, I, it kind of that that threw me off for real. I can't lie, I didn't, I didn't pick up on it until he told them both to sit down. Mm. And the guy was like, "Just shoot them, you half breed." Yeah. And he told him to sit down again. Mm. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's on his own." Mm. I was like, "He's not. He don't care what Dodd talking about right now." Like, because he would have just he would have just shot him. Like we seen him this whole episode, bro. He wasn't Snap. talking to yeah. nobody. He was just blasting him off. Like, so well, the fact that he got there and was like, "Sit down." He did. He was blasting, but it wasn't like at, it was at people who pretty much disrespected him. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't all the other people. We still don't know what happened with the chick at the hotel. 
Okay. That's true. She That's potentially true. got away. And the, the, the clerk, he didn't get killed either. So I felt like, you know, he, he he's not aiming his, his gun at people who are not treated to him, you know, poorly. All right. So I guess I'll reword it then. They've been looking for Dodd for how long? Like damn near a week? Two. It's more than two days. Because they lost track of Redman for two days. So it's at least four days. Four to five days. Okay. Right? So when you go find your man that's, that's, that's supposed to be your your right hand, you know what I'm saying? Talk about you you loyal to me or to the family. Yeah. You're supposed to just walk in blasting. So the no, fact that he right. didn't do that, I'm like... It's something suspect yeah. <laughs> going on right now, man. But you're right, though. I didn't expect it. Like, even with the whole shit that was going on in the beginning, him being disrespected. Mm-hmm. But I guess maybe that that's maybe that really is what it was. Like, literally, episode one, they gave us the Sioux Fall Massacre. Never touched on that again. Mm-hmm. Red Man, like, the only fucking Indian in the whole show. Yep. And he has been disrespected multiple times by the family already, even by Dodd. But, you know, he's just loyal, loyal to the bone. So yeah, it was it was it was a nice surprise, but it really oh my god, bro. We just asked, is Dodd gonna even find out about his daughter, son? So this shit just shakes things up because I'm wondering like if Redman cause cause I feel like he could run, like, to be honest, especially with the war that the Gearhearts are in right now, he could definitely run a couple states and be yeah. good. But I wonder if his um I don't know, like, I wonder if he's just going to be worried that since Ed and Peg are still alive and survived this encounter, if they ever were to interact with the Gearhearts, they would tell them that he killed Dodd instead of them. And I still feel like that's not good enough. Like, I still feel like it's, this is 1979, so you can definitely dip off a couple of states and probably be good. Yep. But, you know. It's always things that bring you back, right? And that might be it. So. Mm. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> There's I always like a thing that bring you back. I like that. Yeah, not only the movie, but also, yeah, yeah, the connection. I like that. But yeah, you're right, man. It, it, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking hyped, bro, for this, for these Me last two. I'm dumb hyped. Me too. I can't wait to see how they fucking end this because, man, this season's been dope. This season has been dope. I'm loving the tie-in to the first season. Like, it's not, you know, uh, a sequel or anything, but it's a prequel. And it's it's pretty cool. I like it. You know, I have, I have a friend who, who despises prequels. You know, maybe maybe I'll show him this show. He might he might enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, man. What what else happened, man? Other than Mike getting called, he going he gonna to go over there. He going to see a bunch of police. You feel me? He gonna end up having to turn in Papa Yui, so he shit out of luck. There goes his his good luck. And for all we know, that puts another target on Ed. That's what I'm saying. It's like this is such oh this is such a weird spot to be in at episode eight. Like I'm completely just lost. Oh what? Like on what's next? Yeah, because Dodd, great. bro, it's great. Dodd dying. <sighs> I don't know, bro. What, like Bear gonna try to take over or something now? Like, bro, what, but we we already seen what Bear up to. Exactly. So it's like uh, <laughs> there's only a few things that can happen from that side, right? It could be that Ma finds out and the person Bear bends and the person back. You know what I'm saying? She gets deaded, Um and he takes over. Mm-hmm. Or I really don't see no other way because like he really he really trying to do his thing. I don't see no other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one left me lost, bro. They killed they the way they were just killing me. <laughs> they didn't even kill that many people, but Dodd was really important in my opinion. I was just not expecting that. <laughs> um I don't know. I think I'm good on this one. Like obviously I'm super confused right now. I think <laughs> I think uh, season one, I was a little bit more in touch with how they were going to close out than this one. This one, I'm just completely baffled. I mean, literally last episode, we had a a damn room full of alien symbols and shit like that. They, they was like, nope, y'all know how they do with the alien stuff. They going to probably sprinkle that on the 10th episode in again. Um, Salvison's wife is no nowhere near closer to dying. 
I mean, I know we did kind of have that send off vibe last episode, but you can't you can't say that for the simple fact that these last two episodes literally were the same episodes, just from different perspective. Yeah. So it's yeah. basically like two episodes of one episode. So, you know, that next episode, we really haven't gotten here yet, which should be this next episode, which we should get all the other characters, you know. Exactly. We start seeing, you know, Peggy and in the Gerhards, and, of course, you know, Salveson's wife and all that. So, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode because we, we, we should be getting a lot, a lot of, a lot of good things coming from this or bad. Who knows? It's all bad. I don't know. I'm, like we said, I'm just, I'm Ed, just Ed, curious Ed, how they going. And shit, Ed and Peggy can get out of this, bro. That's what I'm saying. They could be some good. Could be some good. Fargo, I don't think Fargo do that. I don't think that's Fargo's thing. I don't think they allow Who knows? Maybe Peggy, right? Maybe Ed and Peggy get away and they were in season one. <laughs> the butcher shop wasn't there no more, man. That it's not the butcher wrong, shop. Man. They they a fucking. They were like some random ass couple in the background. <laughs> nah, I don't think Fargo. Yeah. I think that might be Fargo's thing, man. To kill off their main characters, man. Yeah, that might be the. Yeah, you're right. I, that's what out. I'm saying. Exactly. We gonna find out soon enough. Can't wait. Yeah. All right, I'm good here, man. Like, top of mind for me is is really just how they're going to close people's stories out. Like I said, mm-hmm. losing Dodd was a big one. Like, I, I was I was pretty I was pretty comfortable with the whole Mike coming and snatching up Dodd and, and seeing what that type of chaos creates. Um, yeah. So I was not expecting this at all. So I'm, I'm really interested how Mike's story is going to end, how, you know, the Gerhardt story, both Bear and Ma Dukes, and then obviously Ed Peggy. Salverson family like yeah these man come on what you at final score I mean uh <clears throat> final thoughts drop a score uh nine five thought this episode was damn near perfect um a lot of tense moments obviously the transition of Peggy is is crazy um I don't know I kind of felt like die was gonna die you feel me? Just because that I felt like that's the way to kind of just make everything turn into chaos. So I kind of felt like that was coming. But the thing that I didn't expect was for Ed and and Peggy to live. Because I honestly thought that the Red Man was going to come through and just do his do his, do his his job. Like, I thought he was going to go to work. But um, he had other things in mind. Um, you know, and one of them was getting a haircut. Trying to be a new man, man. What, what, what a time to get a cut. <laughs> His face all over the paper. He's trying to. Bro, what is a man. what is a cut? Do you, do you not see that man's face? That shit is. You. Bro, you got to realize this is the time of y'all. Exactly. This is the time yeah, of y'all all looking him. like. It don't matter if that man had the bow cut, the ball cut. It's, it's that time of y'all all look alike, bro. People to this day still be y'all all look alike. So all you gotta do is it's cut his even, head. They gonna be like, nah, it's, it's not even that. It's like like we like you said. There's only one Indian in this motherfucking show. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one. We ain't seen nothing. Hey, that was in Minnesota though. He he in South Dakota now. They in Sioux Falls now. Okay, so. okay. You I, feel me? I, I guess that was the right move, but we seen it wasn't. But yeah, man. And then he go to a reservation. You know what I'm saying? Police can't pull up to no reservation. That's true. That's true. Okay, <laughs> man. Go to his own people for protections. But who? Who knows? Maybe they outcast his ass. Maybe they outcast. But yeah, man. Dope ass episode. Can't wait for the next one. I'm dumb height. Very dope. Very, very dope. Um, I'm going to just give it the 10 because I think, Ooh. yeah, I think it was. Because like I said, it was, there was like not even much dialogue at first. And it was still just, you just felt it, man. You felt those tense moments. You was, your prediction started slipping through your fingers. <laughs> like, Facts. nah, this, this ain't happening. This yep. is wrong. <laughs> like, so I really enjoyed this one. And like I said, I, I, I love being close to the finale and really trying to figure out, like, how are they going to close this up, man? Are they going to make it simple? Are they going to make it complicated? Or some maybe some people is just going to be simple, some complicated. Um, and you're right. I did. I, I feel like 
you know, Da Dine feels about right. Um, I just wasn't expecting the who or the where or the when. I was thinking maybe one more episode, depending on when Mike got a hold of him, um, which doesn't happen. <laughs> so I thought Peggy was going to do it, to be honest. Bro, you know what's that, great? That's you know what's what funny? My I thought it was going to be Peggy. When she stabbed him that second time, he started wheezing a little bit hard, and he was like, I think you hit my lung. I thought he was just going to randomly die throughout mm. the night. Like, and they were going to wake up like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. Now nah, nah, we can't give him the mic. Yeah, like, yeah, now yeah, Mike yeah, going to yeah, want to yeah. kill us type. So See, they, that's, a they, route, that's a route they could have took. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. There's so many routes that they could have taken, and it was still probably would have hit, like, or mm -hmm. it would have related to somebody's thought process. <laughs> and they was like, nah, bro, we're actually going to take this route that we really kind of have been setting up in the background, but kind of haven't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Left yes. you a little bamboozled. So, great episode right here, man. Eights are great, man. That's a 9.5 from your boy Brolic, 10 from your boy Formal. If you still here rocking with us, we appreciate y'all so much. Y'all already know y'all keep us moving and go grooving. Please don't spit in nobody's glass of water. <laughs> y'all know what to do with the videos. Drop the likes, comment down below. Let us know how you felt about this episode. And most importantly, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We also have full link watch alongs, but you got to bring your own copy, of course. Patreon link will be in the description down below. F double R out, y'all. See you next week. Peace. Peace.